Well, that's not quite how I planned it. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, 69 Boss 302 gets its engine. I'm gonna pull it off the engine stand, put on the flywheel, clutch, pressure plate, bell housing, starter, and it'll be ready to drop. On these threads, I suggest the blue Loctite, not the red. You take the blue pill, you take the red pill. If you watched the last video about the Boss 302, you know how I installed them, how I said I installed them was to put all the accessories on, everything on that I possibly could just like they did it from the factory. Just makes your life a lot easier. You're not wrestling with putting a starter in up underneath the car, running cables while you're underneath the car, hooking up a battery ground while you're under the car. This makes your life a whole heck of a lot easier. Even the hoses, wrestling with the hoses. That can be a real pain. And these small blocks, surprisingly, there's not a lot of room to get in there. Look how tight that is. So much easier when the engine's out. Return and pressure hoses on the power steering, oil filter, spark plugs, wires, wiring harness. Everything on it. Just plug it in, ready to run. Just the easiest way to do it. In my previous video, I showed myself using this tool crimp these clamps. Had uh, someone in the comments ask me where I got it. Well, it's from NPD and it's part number 934-1. And it's about 18 bucks. Well, last I checked. And it really is the best way to do this job.
and pull your damn pants up. It's going to stay there for a minute. Z-bar installation, this can be a real pain. Um, it's factory Z-bar, fancy paint mark. This can be a little bit of a struggle to get these in here, but here we go. That was too easy. A lot of room up there. I guess I'm used to big block stuff. Transmission's fully detailed. Did that previously. Original Rug AG. Partial VIN stamp. Gear reducer for the 391 rear gear. Properly detailed transmission mount. Insulator boot. Ink stamps, ink marks. Script on the side telling what transmission it is. A rug AG or GAG for an abbreviation. Assembly line workers would look at that stencil on the side and say, yep, that's the one, instead of having to squint their eyes and look at that. You don't want to do that when you're busy building a car. And reverse light switch. Already wired into the shifter.
two, one. engine transmission drive shaft and to say this was easy would be a lie this car fought me tonight that's the way it goes sometimes car did not want to go back together maybe tomorrow will be a better day anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel